Hi everyone, I'm Kate. And I'm Nicole. And today, we're here to talk to you about a selection of citation tools. Look, we know citations seem fussy. We know they seem annoying, and we know you might not like them. We feel your pain, but we also understand how important it is to keep track of and communicate where we get ideas from. So, we're here to show you a couple helpful tools. They don't replace learning about citations in the first place, but they do save time once you have a basic understanding. In the library's main search, WorldCat, when you find an item, click here on the link for Cite Export, and you can see APA or MLA or other styles. A quick word to the wise. These citations aren't written by people, but by a database's algorithm. There are often little errors, so always double check that they're correct. And of course, don't forget to double space, use a hanging indent, and alphabetize your entries. If you're in an EBSCOhost database, look on the right side for the Cite button. Most other academic databases will have something like this, so keep your eyes open. Microsoft Word has a citation tool too in the References tab. We find this tool makes a few more errors and requires a bit more proofreading, but some people really like it. There are online tools too. EasyBib is one that's very popular. Keep in mind with EasyBib, you can make MLA citations for free, but you'll have to pay for APA after a free three-day trial. At other schools, you may encounter tools like RefWorks, Zotero, EndNote, or Mendeley. All are very helpful in keeping track of and organizing your research material. If you've made it to Kirkwood, we're confident you can learn and become great at handling citations. Remember there's lots of help here. Your librarians, your instructors, the writing center, and the tutoring center. And don't forget Google. Thanks for watching and happy researching!